All right, guys, and welcome back. We have returned to the Swan and Mitre. Swan and Mitre. You don't pronounce our T's unless we're saying the word T. My mother wanted me to England. be a farmer. Britain. But I get my hands dirty Especially in other London. Ways. Uh, because we've completed a mission, I can't remember what I did. It was two days ago, uh, but we did it. And we had to go through that horrible tunnel to get to it. Um, but we've done the deed. Oh, we rescued somebody, didn't we? Oh, that's right. And I bravely ran in the other direction. She was running here. Uh, yeah, Uma. That was her name. So, yeah, we did it. We're back at the Swan and Mitre, hopefully to receive our medal for utter bravery in the face of cowardice. My, my own cowardice, I, I should add. Right. Oh, there you are. Blind Nelson. I don't know if we're going to get along, mate, but uh, there's already people in the in the comments. Yeah, they got a thing to say about you, buddy. More bodies getting shot, done. Touch me again, anything. and there'll be consequences. Touch me again, and there'll be consequences. All right, Jan. I'm touching you now. I'm touching you now. What do you think about that? Where are you? Where'd you go? Oh, there he is. See, all talk, bark, and no bite. All right, Mr. Gaunt. Well, well, our little wayfarer has returned. You're looking in a lot better nick than when we first found you, I must say. I've been paying mind to what you've been up to round here. Seems you're not a bad sort, me old mucker. So listen, I got an opportunity for you. You can keep on doing odd jobs for us, help out here and there for a few tickets, or you can step up to the big game. I'm offering you the chance to join the ranks of the Vagabonds. Join our family proper. Your blood becomes our blood. Our fate becomes your fate. What do you say? Ugh, I've always had commitment issues with games like this when you have to go and choose a side. I mean, in the original Fallout 4 and Fallout 3 actually, you could kind of... No, Fallout 3 wasn't like that. But in Fallout 4, you could join any faction, all the factions, do all the missions, no problem. But in Fallout 3 and Vegas, no maybe I'm thinking it was Vegas. The silence? But if you pick one faction, you ended up potentially being an enemy of another one. Uh, so I don't know how this is going to play out. What's in it for me, Gaunt? Weapons, armor, support, a bit of status in the streets, and protection if you're ever in a corner. Those vagabonds look after our own. Now, we ain't the only gang about, but unlike the rest, we ain't leeches. We ain't lording it over others, and we ain't fucking lunatics. You want to be someone's pawn? Go somewhere else. You want to be part of a real community? This is the place to be. <sighs> Gotta be honest, I haven't got a clue if this is a good choice, a bad choice, indifferent choice, it doesn't matter kind of choice. All right, look. <sighs> Go on, Glad then. whatever. Your guns on our side. That's what I like to hear. But now let's not get ahead of ourselves. I still have a task for you before you join proper. Oh, of course you do. We're on a war footing, and every new recruit has to prove their value for the effort. You want to join the vagabonds? You got to show your loyalty and your worth. The job is straightforward. Put down a dog and bring me its collar. Not just any dog, though. I want the blood of a syndicate enforcer captain, and I want its lapel pin in my hand as proof of the deed. Do that and you'll truly be one of us. Now, speak to Nelson for more info. The other lieutenants can kit you out with some gear. Thank you, I'm gonna need it. Around, we right, so, numbers. Syndicate, are, are we talking the same Syndicate as in the main game here? We got, oh, is everybody my friend now? Can I, I still can't steal anything. God damn it. All right, Nelson, we need to talk to you. Give me some deets. Hello, young plum. Young plum. Gaunt asked me to kill a Syndicate enforcer, Captain. Can you give me any help? Help? I can't help with that. Can't even see enough to help you. You can barely see where I'm you standing. You do this on your own. No hand-holding. But I'll give you a bit of background so you know what you're in for. The Syndicate has an enforcement division known by locals as the Sniffers. 
Their whole job <laughs> is to keep the peace, as they call it, meaning meeting out a bit of the old ultraviolence against anything they consider subversive. Pretty cruel bunch, by all accounts. They tend to wander around in small groups round Millwall, looking for trouble. You'll find a few round Tower Hamlets in the Dome, too. Each group has a captain, and they're usually smart and tough. You want to get that pin off their collar, you got to be smarter and tougher. And they ain't the complacent type, so don't expect no shortcuts here. Like I said, no hand-holding on this one. You're on your own, I'm afraid. Do please try not to die. Well, oh, thankfully, uh, Mr. Nelson, again. I have a quick save button. But I am severely under level to be dealing with this kind of thing. I'm going to have to have a little chat around the pub here. See what other goodies I can get. Johnny, Johnny Shrapnel, don't walk away. Alright, Labra. What can I do for you? Well, I'm hoping to buy some weapons. Gaunt wanted me to kill a syndicate captain, said you'd give me some gear. Gaunt give wants gear. more fill of blood, eh? Time to kill us some more doggies. Ah, well. If that's your job, then I can help you live through it, I hope. If you're planning a straight fight, then I can give you some armor. But if you want to be all tactical like, then you can't go wrong with some well timed grenades. In all honesty, I'll take the armor because I really need some armor. Uh, Charisma 6, you don't want more bloodshed? Ooh, hold on a minute. Do I get stuff for free? I've got the charisma. <laughs> you all know. You ever stop to wonder where it ends? They kill us, we kill them. Ah, never mind. Probably just a shrapnel talking. Now, what gear were you after? All right, is he gonna... Hmm. I just got some XP for using that charisma skill then. That's weird. All right, I'll take the armor. Sure thing. Here you go. It better not I be one piece. Worry, be a it's farmer, a chest piece. But I get my hands dirty in other ways. Oh, for the love of God. Right, well, we gotta check it out. So, a bit of a weird episode, as I perpetually say. Uh, apparel, apparel, apparel. Where is this vintage chest piece? It's damage resistance 6. Well, of course it increases my overall damage resistance, which has been suitably awful. Um, the test subject suit, which I was born in, in the game, is 5 and 10. Syndicate suit gives me a... Ah, see, it doesn't protect me against electricity and radiation, but it does give me damage resistance. So it's tempting to, to switch to the syndicate suit. Um... Uh, I hope the people in this room don't suddenly think I'm actually a member of the syndicate and start killing me. Are we good? I think we're good. Um, how do I view this thing? Oh, look at me! Okay, so this is a different kind of syndicate. I go on. Uh, who else around here can do me a favour and give me some stuff? How you doing, mate? I'm going to do a spot of dog hunting. Gaunt sent me for supplies. Hey, no trouble. I had fresh deliveries of chems and medicines today. Which would you rather have your mitts on? Oh, medicine. All day, medical supplies. Here Thank you. Go, you. Mate. If you hang around, Three stim packs. Them. Actually, we that in this game, teach you that's pretty damn good. Anyone else want to give me some stuff? Are we done? Right. Why, well, why is the... Why is this telling me five meters over here? Is that because I've got to go downstairs and... Oh, it is. All right. Bullet tooth, give me some stuff. What you after? To be honest, whatever you got, I'm a mission to kill a syndicate captain. Gaunt said you could kick me out. Sure, I guess you need the right weapon for hey. the job. You fancy a shooter or a slicer? Don't you mean shooter? I want an effing shooter. Right, here you go. If you hang around, what have I got? A, a 38 T round. A T round pistol. Well, well, what is one of those? When it's at home. Uh, no, that's over here. Because I basically ran out of all ammo. My 32 pistol. Oh, I've got three of those. And some reason. Oh, it's because I picked them up. That gives you the rounds. I keep forgetting. In my own tips video. Uh, an electrified police truncheon. Still want to have a good uh, swing at somebody with that. And this is the T round pistol. The T round pistol. Well, we'll stick that in the old favorites and whip it out basically t round t round right here is it trowned or t round i mean it, it's it's good looking i still can't touch anything here they don't trust me just yet all right let's get out of here where do i where do i where do i gotta go 
Uh, get a lapel pin from an IODS enforcer captain. I just know this is going to be difficult. Uh, oh, it's right outside. Is it? It's right outside. Is that even where it is on the map? Or is this just a general... Oh, I think it's a general mission. In that case, I might try and find a side quest to do. Clear out the Bromley hardware store. Looks like we're ready to Bromley, ladies and gentlemen. You can't fast travel from inside. Oh, Fallout, you still disappoint me. My mother me. wanted me to be a farmer, but I get me hands dirty in other ways. I do hate that. Like, just let me fast travel, because now I've, I've got to go through two or three loading screens when one would have done. One would have been fine. I can't sleep. I can't sleep. I can't, ooh, I can have that then. A strobe. More bodies getting shot done, never hurt anything. I suppose I should put my weapon away while I'm in here. Uh, can't take anything. Come on, guys. Give me some stuff. Touch me again, and there'll be consequences. All right, I've had these empty threats before, mate. I'm not interested. There is nothing here. All right, let's go. Yeah, so I thought it would be a good idea just to do a few side missions to get warmed up. So I'm, I don't know if it's uh, it, really exciting to watch, but it's what I'm doing. It's what will be done. Right, we're going to head all the way down here. It's not that far. Shall I just... Shall I just wander down? We've got to head to the Bromley Hardware Store. Right this way. Let's go. We might encounter a few beasties along the way. But don't worry. I'm going to whip out my truncheon. Oh, hello, fellas. Who are you? I've been hoofing it on them streets for miles. And let me tell you, the door shake worth a bleeding bob. What is that? Is that a mask? What the hell is that? Okay, we have aliens walking in the streets of London. I know some think they've been here for a long time. Ladybugs? Take the ladybug meat. So there are giant ladybirds. We call them ladybirds here, not bugs. Catering to the US audience. Oh, shame on you. Fallout London stuff. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. Now, of course, I've already taken a load of radiation damage, which I can't get back. Oh, look at you. Ion Brew. I think that's fantastic. If for those not familiar with uh, the UK, uh, in well, I say the UK, yes, because Scotland's most famous, ridiculously sweet, and most food coloured drink they've that has ever been made in the world is called iron brew it's made in scotland from girders it genuinely is it's made out of sheet metal it's <laughs> it will potentially destroy the lining of your stomach just from smelling it and i love it right oh here we go we've got some rounds uh, hypo radex night vision converted crude rifle where have you been all my life uh, i think i better check that that last item i picked up for apparel because the 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 chest piece this one six and five leather chest piece three and ten but that's electric damage um i think i better put on A vintage chess piece. So, yeah, I didn't realise the Syndicate suit just removed that. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah. In my tighty whities. Let's go. So, we've got to basically just clear it out. Do it yourself. I like that. Oh, damn it. I haven't saved. Right, I'm going to save now. Wait until it loads. Before we get destroyed. You can, hear, you can hear the music, though. It's pumping. Yeah, all right. Quick save in here. Oh, God. Turn the, turn the bloody torch off, mate. Right, now it just says simply clean it out. The gentry can go F themselves, it says over there. We've got 14 rounds of this. I 
think I'm going to need to do a little uh, a little looting. There we go. A few more rounds. Crude revolver. I like it. What do you got? Some more rounds. Converted crude rifle. Worth picking up the weapons until you're over encumbered. Leather piece. Hang on. That's even that's even better, I think, than the one I'm sporting. Let me check it out. Oh, I'm just getting so confused with the um, leather chest piece. Vintage. Oh, okay, it was the same as the one I already had. Okay, got to be careful not to get over encumbered. Nine mil rounds and Molotov. Road leathers. Ah, nice view. Thank you. Hitting all the wrong buttons here. Uh, road leathers, road leathers. Just give me some damage resistance and I keep my chest piece. So I'm now no longer in the buff. I've got to say, my character's looking pretty me. Did you hear that? She's got yeah, they're aware. I'm here. Let's quick save because this this is when it all goes down. We're gonna go horribly wrong. Uh, end of the line. Here it is. Here it is. <coughs> Whoa! She got a shotgun. She's gonna get a bullet in the brain. Oh, good shots. Uh, 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 hold on. Hold on. Huh. Oh no, I was doing all right there. Okay, these guys aren't difficult to kill. I just gotta not panic and sit in a corner and <laughs> spray and pray. <laughs> I like it. It's like a new challenge. Hey, this is gonna be fun. Right, hey, 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 hey! Now, what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you, are you gonna have a go? She's gonna take two bullets in the chest. She's down. He. He, he. Also down. Very easy. That's ah, three down. Okay, I just had to aim properly. That's all good. There's a few more hiding in the corner. Uh, I need to. I need to. I need to heal up. Right. Hey, have I got any rad away? That would be the most useful right now. Damn it. I've got nothing that gets rid of it. I've got red resistance, no rad away. All right, let's just have a glass of water. And think about what we're gonna do here. I, <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm panicking now. Uh, should we go back to the pistol? How, how good is this T ground? We get 18, oh, it's 18 damage. We've got, oh my God. Tactical converted crude rifle, but I have one bullet. I mean, that might come in useful later. Five shells for the shotgun. The crude gun or the crude rifle. Again, one bullet. Makeshift knife. My electric police truncheon. I've got to whip it out. I've got to do it. Quick saving, and we're going to go on a truncheon run. We'll call it a truncheon. That's, that's actually the same thing, isn't it? A runcheon. Well barrel shotgun. Leather Your right tank. arm. There we go. A bit more armor. Sack hood with hoses. I, I think I've had one of those before and I wasn't sure it actually gave me any benefit. Well, well, well. Oh, hi. Whoa. I don't think this will be any different. Okay. Uh, okay, this is not helping. I'm concussed. Okay. <laughs> the electric truncheon really did a job. I'll take the leather left leg. Uh, and I appear to be um, mostly damaged. Good job. You feel that? It's called fear. You feel that? It's called fear, she says. Right leg. Everything else I think I can cover. All right, health is a problem, but I'm going to, you know, quick save. Disarm the chimes. Because they'll never know. Right, you're in here somewhere. The fuck was that? Yeah, come on, come on. Come down. Come down to the door. I got a present for you. Whoa! They got a present for me. An auto turret. That's cheating. And I just had to play hero. Close huh? the door. Maybe I can do a little looting first. Looting before shooting. Wait, is there another one in here? Oh, it's her. 
Okay, okay, okay. All right, she's got a radiation. Oh, it's a flipping ladybird. Uh, who's now just crawled into the wall. Wonderful. We're doing we're doing great today. Um, I'm going to have a pear and some mushy peas. Perfect diet. A uh, bit of dog meat. Yep. I mean, all increasing the radiation problem. But we are going to need to use the pistol here, or at least this pistol, because this, this lady is going to be a problem otherwise. Right. Two in the chest, and I might still need to finish it off. Yeah, see one miss. That's the problem with the ATS. It's, if you can free fire, you do kind of stand a better chance of dying. Yep. Well, I gotta be honest, this game does not hold your hand. Certainly this mod is, is designed to take you right back to when you first started the game. As in, incredibly tricky. Now, we've got, we've got a, a guy on patrol up there. Now, I've brought out this weapon because I'm thinking. What am I thinking? I'm thinking fast. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Like a submarine with a hole in it. That if he just pokes his, his ugly little head out, we can, we, can, we can maybe take a couple of cheap shots. As long as he doesn't see me, he's on patrol. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Sorry for the tense build up here. This might lead to nothing and I have to start all over again. Yeah, there he is. Okay, he's not, he's not poking out. My only trouble is I don't quite know. If there's a, there's a turret here. That little bugger. He's gonna go down. Um, it might take me with it. Okay, not a bad start. You, my friend. Oh, I haven't got enough AP for this. How are all those shots missing? Right, somebody, somebody thought it'd be a good idea to keep the door open. Oh, not that way. Open the other way. Okay, he doesn't look like he wants to budge from his position. Oh, damn it, I've got to aid. I've got to aid up again. Mushy peas, it's the only answer. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, if this, if this lands... How are they all missing? Okay, we got him down. Thank God for that. Clear out the Bromley hardware store. He's done, mate. Now, I've still got... Oh. Oh, I've still got to save. That's what I'm going to do. I've still got this auto turret that I've got to take out. Come on. Yeah, baby. It's done now. If I'd have managed to get a few shots off on that thing, I think we're good. We can stop hiding. I think. Bobby Pin, Turpentine. You know you love it. There we go. Job done. Weapon bench. No, I can't really craft anything just yet. I haven't, I haven't unlocked any crafting ability. But I will take that. And the, and the uh, circuit board. Oh, hello. Somebody dropped a tactical automatic crude gun. Crude. Well, that's okay. It's okay. You gotta roll with the punches. Oh. Let's sleep just to get our health back. It's a free... It's a free health revival system. Uh, hypo and Roid. Two rounds there. Oh, look at that. Cardboard vaults on or Amazon box beds. This is like sleeping in the Olympic Village. For those who know. Uh, I'll take that. And I think that's probably it up here. I doubt they kept anything important. By the turret. Oh, okay, a bit of rad away. And now I need the rad away, so we're going to use that straight away. Right away, straight away. See what I'm doing there? Now let's sleep. And top it up. Oh, it hasn't got rid of all the radiation. Oh, damn it. Okay, but that's that's still good. Quick save in that. I think we're out of here. Let's go. Oh, Jangles the Moon Monkey. Who put you in the toilet? Nobody puts Jangles in the corner. 
different thing, is it? Oh. A little... Okay, I killed it with a punch. Alright, well that's new. Giant ladybirds. Alright, DIY store. Has been done. I did do it myself. Is there anything useful in here though? Anything, I mean, you'd, you'd think a DIY store, even though it's been completely robbed of everything. Mr. Strong, no idea what they are, but I'm having them because if I can't use them, I can sell them. Uh, but I think that's it. Alright, we're done. Right, I'm going back to the pub. I'm going back to the pub. You hang around, wouldn't hurt none. We need I'm going to settle down. Go to the pub, have a pint, and let it all blow over. Alright, let's pop the gun down. Don't want anyone getting upset. As everybody else seems to in this pub. Alright, Jan. Oh, well, you're back. Should we call you Lex Luthor? It does remind me of. It's the, it's the bald head with the green coat, I think. Why do you sound so surprised? To be totally honest, mate, I didn't think you had a bleeding chance against those dead-eyed junkies. But I've never been happier to be wrong. Now I'll be able to get this place back to its former glory in no time. Here's the tickets as promised. Also, before you go, I want to give you something that's meant a lot to me over the years. But I think you've earned it. It's my lucky Rad Rat Smasher. Hopefully after we make these restorations, I won't be needing it anyway. Right, so we got a we got a melee weapon. Completed fixer up. Okay, that's good. Alright, another side quest done. And there'll be a few odd jobs to do. I'm kinda getting I'm kinda getting curious. This lapel pin from an IODS enforcer captain, right? It does not show you where you can go. I think there's just there's a few around. You'll bump into them eventually. So it's not really a mission I, I, I really want to have in my active quest line. But I do want to find Thames Haven. It's been teased from the very start. Um, I'm going to go and have a word. Shall we? It's, it's a bit of a trek. But it's not far. Not far even. From the train... Cr oh, it is far. <laughs> Alright, it's not that far. From the train crash where we first started the game. So, it's a comp <laughs> I'm a taking a bit surprised because I actually had to restart the game. I, I, I launched myself to the train crash and guess what? I had the game crash! Um, so, actually it's quite nice to, to walk down this alleyway. In the, the beginning of the second episode I think I did was when I came down this alleyway for the first time. It was all at night. And we were met with the, the vagabonds we've now become... Well, I, I wouldn't say friends with, because you just don't trust anybody. But, uh, they are at least the first faction that I found. And the first group of people. Oh, good God, what's that? Oh, hang on a minute, it's a caravan. What are you running for? Where you go? I don't know if that was entirely necessary. Oh, you look like you have some good armor. Give me some of that. You won't. <sighs> all right, all right. I don't know if there's much in these things. D a dirty black suit. No thanks. I can make my own suit dirty my own way. Now we are going to what I was. What I was. What was I trying to say? Oh, this this route. This is London. Every now and then, you'll pop across uh, a part of town, and you'll find these uh, arched brick. Bridges, they're rail bridges, they're everywhere. And underneath the arches, underneath the arches, you'll find shops. Because they everybody fills the arches with something. This, oh, this is a proper London street, even though the back end of it's not rendering very well. Uh, I would say, oh, if, if, no, it's not Battersea Power Station. I just saw some big chimneys. I thought it might be, but yeah. This is what London looks like in parts of the East End still today. It really does. That is what it looked like during the Second World War. Okay, this is kind of cool. 
So, anyway, we are heading to a different group of people. Will they be as... I wouldn't say benevolent. Will they be as helpful? What? Oh, God. Oh, no. What have I done? I need to quick save here, just in case. Oh, they're coming for me. And I haven't got a decent weapon. Hold on a minute. Alright, 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 lads. Cool it. Yeah, I killed him. I killed him. Killed you too, buddy. Alright, terrible weapon to be playing around with. Hooligan right leg, because I don't think I've got a right leg piece of armor. I'm having that. Pull cue knuckles, a welded hooligan chest piece. That might, I mean, these things are getting heavy. I've got to be careful. But I think we're still good. Oh, it was a claw hammer he gave me. That was, that's just awful. Okay, anyway, apparel, apparel. Let's just keep it calm. Uh, leather chest piece. What am I doing for encumbrance? Oh, I've got, I've got loads left. We're good, we're good. Um, syndicate, near, near, near. I've got no left arm yet. I want a left arm. I have no left arm. <laughs> Why does nobody have left arm armor? Right, as soon as we got through that relatively unscathed. Oh, dude, I've just got to switch my weapons out. Uh, well, I don't like this weapon wheel, but it it is it is what it is. That pistol I'm saving. Oh, come on. Let's stick with the 32 then. We'll just have to, we'll just have to live with it. Or die with it. Oh, there you go. My F5 button on the quick save works now, all of a sudden. It didn't work the last time I was recording. Right, where the hell are these guys? But yeah. A factory called Prilla Dog. I'm not sure what to make of that. I don't know what that's trying to take. Right, what is that parodying? We got stray dogs. Oh, we got stray dogs. Oh, I've got a protector dog. Oh, hell yes. You leave it alone. It's a British pool dog. Not having that. Get off him. Get off him, you mutts. You mangy. Okay, I'm just, I'm really not doing this in a very planned and constructive way. But I will kill you. Anytime you like. There we go. Now I, now I, oh, get in there. Oh, listen to this. We, I think we've got ourselves a companion. Who are you, little guy? We got ourselves a British bulldog. Wait a minute. Why are you running over there? Is there something else? Talk to me, dog. Talk to me. Oh, he's seen something. What do you smell, boy? What do you smell? Is that me? It's probably me. It's... I'm nervous, okay? Where'd you go? Where did you go? Don't go away! The dog's gone away! Right, the dog's a dick. I thought we had something special there. I thought we could talk. I thought that was going to be my first companion. Alright, we're going in here then. Ugh. Ah, the Prilla Dog Food Factory. Is this where I'm supposed to be? I've got a little, I've got a little disoriented. Oh no, it's not. Oh, this is to speak to the guard. Maybe because I saved the dog? Hi, God. Anything you need? Tommy Watchman? You have to be insane to take on the Tommies. I'm, I'm not here to take you on. I wanted to speak to the man who... Oh, there we go! Is he going to reward me with the dog for good behavior? Hello, factory guard. The fuck is your problem? 
What do you mean? Calm down. Who the hell are you? Uh, you, you seem to be. You seem to be one of them. Oh, let's start. Let's start at a level lower than him, and then we've got somewhere to go. Can I help you? Yeah, you bloody well can. Me bloody dogs are dead because of you. What the, the the dogs that were trying to kill this dog that's right next to you now? They were mine. Churchill and the others. Some were strays, maybe, but mine. I fed them every day. Right, they were gonna. They were. They were killing your dog. Yeah, there you go. They were basically feral. Your actual dog is fine. Get over it. That man. ain't true. They took a liking to most people. Your ugly mug must have set them off. Uh, to be honest, he's always getting picked on by the other strays. He really needs a home. With me working all, I don't really have time to take care of the little guy. Oh, properly. here it comes. Hmm, why not make amends for everything? Think you could adopt him? Churchill's his name. Well, of course it is. It's Churchill. I mean, there's a there's a, there, for a long while in the UK there was a TV s series of adverts from a, I think they were an insurance company called Churchill. And they're, they're basically their animated character in the adverts was a British bulldog. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, that doesn't work without the visuals. But, <laughs> but his name was Churchill because Winston Churchill was he was a larger man and he had these jowls, and and so the the a lot of people think the British bulldog looks a bit like anyway looks like Churchill. Whatever. Yes, I want a pet. Great. He's a real good boy. You do right by him, he'll do right by you. Just give him a little pat on the head if you want to take him with you. He's smart enough to work out the rest. Anyway, I, I'm, I'm down with this. Dog talk. Why are you here? Oh, uh, how do I get to Thameshaven? Yes, I'm just, I'm just on, I'm just passing through. I'm just a, a, a tourist. I promise. Thameshaven. Don't know why he'd want to go there. But if you insist. Keep following the road, past the bunker, past Fesco, then turn right. Keep going, and you'll reach the old tube station. It's down there. Alright, why, why did you just look- why are you still looking me up and down? Very unnerving. Or oh, you're checking me out. I'm not sure which one it is. I mean, you're only human, but... It, we, we just met, okay? Uh, what's this place, this anyway? This here is the Prilla Dog Chum Factory. We're the number one canned goods supplier in London. Okay. Um, oh, actually, I could get some jobs. I've got to do things like this to level up. I don't know. Talk to the owner. He's inside. It's quite nice, though, that they haven't just attacked me on site. Do you have a doctor? Is there a doctor in the house? A <laughs> doctor? Here. You're having a... Uh, I'm not supposed to talk about our health and safety practices. <laughs> It's in me contract. Right. I'll... I'll sure. just be off then. Sure. I'll get my coat. In fact, I'll book a cab. We are in London after all. Right, Churchill. Never, never, never shall be hey there, boy. Wanna come with me? I think that's a ref. A ref. Face your dog and press X to begin issuing commands. Churchill? Uh, Talk. <laughs> Oh, this is great. Uh, do you know any tricks? I'm guessing that was a no. No, Churchill, come. I haven't finished. We're going to talk, all right? Um, oh, never mind. It might be best if we can split up. Hey, boy, I think you can find something. Okay, so it's standard companion stuff. Oh, you are a beautiful little thing. I mean, you're not. You know, I mean... No one's got the heart to tell the bulldog that they're not actually that good looking. They're not pretty dogs, are they? They're not cute. They ain't going to win the best looking dog in crafts. But they've, there's something about them that's just so appealing. They're like, that's what they're called uh, bulldogs. I mean, they're, like, they're a lot like boxers. They look like boxers. There's a leg at each corner. You know what I mean? Anyway, guys, I, uh, I don't know how much I edited out of this or how much I'm going to continue to show you. But I'm kind of done for the day. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next part. All the best. Take care and good night.